I didn't wear running shoes today. If the rocks weren't so hot, I could go barefoot. How about a few crisscrosses? And uh, Dominique, this double under is for you. A double under in flip flops by the sea with a makeshift jump rope. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I hope you're doing awesome wherever you are. So I got a rope in my left hand, which I'll get to in just a minute. I really haven't been able to jump rope in over a week because I picked up a nasty rash surfing. So if you're squeamish, look away from the screen now. Fortunately, I'm recovering nicely. My skin is recovering nicely and I'll be able to jump rope again soon. But for the time being, I have to avoid strenuous exercise and working up too much of a sweat. But I really wanted to get outside such a lovely day, get some sunshine, get some fresh air, get some vitamin D. And just like in the previous video, walking along the shore, I found so many different ropes in different lengths, different thicknesses, which would be perfect for jumping rope. Here in my hand, I have this long rope, which is actually two pieces of rope tied together, probably belonged to a, a fishing vessel, but it washed up on shore. I'm gonna share with you an old heavyweight boxing champion, Jack Dempsey jump rope handle trick. So this, this is what Jack Dempsey used to do for makeshift jump rope handles. Take a rope, so if I step in this rope, you can see it's very long there. It's coming up over my head. For jumping rope, we want a rope that comes up to about our chest or our armpits or somewhere in between. So I'm just gonna simply take the handles, the end of the rope, wrap it around my hand once or twice. Wrap it around the hands once or twice. So one reason I love jumping rope is the simplicity of it. You can go to our local hardware store and pick up a rope like this for just a few dollars. If you have a sea nearby, of course, you can find a bunch of them along the shore. And a rope like this could be used by many people, family, siblings, for example. If one person is taller or shorter than the other, you can simply adjust the length of the rope to suit you. Of course, if you want to buy a PVC jump rope, if you're learning how to jump rope, you can start off with the basic PVC jump rope. If you enjoy the activity, you can buy more expensive ones, of course. But it's so accessible. There's very few barriers to entry. You can buy a PVC jump rope for just a few dollars, or like me here, you can find a rope along the shore, go to your local DIY store, pick up a rope, make your own DIY Jack, De Jack Dempsey makeshift handles, and all you need is a flat surface. I'm jumping rope here next to the sea, on this rock that's relatively flat. How awesome is this? So let's let's go to it. I'm not gonna really jump rope today, but it's hard to resist now. I found this rope, it's such a beautiful day. So here I am doing the basic boxer skip. I, I'm even wearing flip flops. I wasn't planning on jumping rope, so I, I didn't wear running shoes today. If the rocks weren't so hot, I could go barefoot. How about a few crisscrosses? So fantastic, jumping rope. It's such an awesome, accessible activity, cardio activity. Pick up a PVC jump rope for just a few dollars. Get a rope like this at your hardware store. It can be longer than necessary, but you can simply adjust the handles so it can be used by your brothers or sisters or a family member. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick video. Oh yeah, before I forget, in the previous video, a commenter said they wished the, there was no background music so they could hear the sea. So I'm not gonna add any background music today. And uh, Dominique, this double under is for you. A double under in flip flops by the sea with a makeshift jump rope. Let's do it. So there we go. I really hope you enjoyed this video.